Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Let's discuss Maria Tash. Maria Tash is a very well-known location to get piercings and to buy luxury earrings. And we're gonna talk about why they're so expensive. Are they worth it? And I'm talking from experience because not the jewelry, but all of the piercings I've got, except my lobes, which I got done when I was like 12, everything is by Maria Tash. So I, I, I'm able to talk about this from the opinion of having actually been there and done it and gone through the experience. I'm going to talk to you about healing, how much things hurt, how you can heal something super quickly with like an amazing product I can show you. Also how you can get the look for a lot less because if you like that Maria Tash look but it's out of your budget at the moment, you can actually get the look for less and I'll, I'll show you how. So Maria Tash, okay, the, the way it works, you don't just turn up and go, bosh, I'd like this earring, please. And then you go and get it done. It's, they call it a curated process. So you go there and you have to make an, a proper appointment and the appointment's quite long. And the appointment, a large proportion of the appointment is a consultation where they look at the bespoke shape of your ear because everyone's ear is different. What you might want might not be possible. If, for example, you want an earring to go there, but your ear sticks out a little bit there, Maria Tash might say, do you know what, we can't do that, but we can place it in this other location, tucked in slightly, you'll still get the same look. You might even pick a, a piece of jewellery that doesn't work for the location that you want it to go. And that's another thing they help you with. They give you these little plastic spatulas with, that they put the earring in and you can hold them up in different locations on your ear to get a sense of how they look in different places. And the whole thing is very consultative. It's very, they very much work with you. It's very luxury. It's very premium. It's, you feel as though you're getting what you pay for when you go through that process and they make it fun, they make it exciting. The actual process of getting the piercing done, they take you into it like a, um, they've got various rooms where they do the piercings. You're sat on a bed that's all hygienically covered. They will get you normally, if you have longer hair, they'll get you to tie your hair up. They then use a pen that they give you after so that it's only for you. They give you, they put a dot on your ear with a black pen where they're gonna put the piercing. They'll then get you to sit down or lay down, depends on who's doing the piercing really, and they will go ahead and get you pierced. The lobe, does it hurt? It stings. In some ways I feel like the lobe hurts more than the cartilage bit. So the cartilage bit is up the top, the lobe is this soft bit down here. And whenever I've had the lobe pierced, it feels sharp and stingy. But the pain only lasts for that second that the needle goes through. And it's bearable. It's, it's like a sharp, it's like a sharp needle going through your ear and as soon as they've put the piercing in and they step away and the piercing's in there's no blood gushing there's nothing like that it feels hot is how I would describe it the ear feels really hot and what they will do is you get and I don't have one with me the actual rod that goes on the back of the earring they're all flat back so you can sleep in them they will use a long one on the back of new piercings because your ear swells with a new piercing. Once it's healed, you'll need to go back and have a shorter one put on so that the piercing is snug against the skin. With cartilage piercings, healing can take, in my experience, anywhere between a year and 18 months. Lobe piercings are quicker, can be like six months. Um, so in, I, I had my lobe piercings done and this one up here. So I've got a piercing up the top here and then two stacked here. I had all of these done in January. So, uh, and I've been healing them with this product that I'll come on to. The cartilage, does that hurt? Not really. Uh, again, it feels like a sharp scratch, but it doesn't hurt. And in fact, you might be surprised to know that the one I've got on the inside of my ear just there, that really didn't hurt. Do they hurt to sleep on? You're not meant to sleep on them because if you do, they can end up healing at an angle, which you don't want. You want them to heal in the exact position the piercer has put them in. So you shouldn't really sleep on them and you can get travel pillows that will help you sleep. With me, I naturally tend to sleep because I've had these now since 2018. I sleep with my head in the crook of my arm. So my ear 
is in this bit of my arm so it's not touching the pillow and I do that naturally now I don't even think about it is how I wake up in the morning kind of like that so how can you get the look for less I've got a couple of tips for you then I'm going to show you this hack on how you can get them to heal super quick there are a couple of places I really recommend right so on this ear I'm going to show you some close-ups so that you can see but on this ear with the exception of the lobe piercing everything is Maria Tash Maria Tash pieces come in white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, and they have diamonds in them. Whenever I have bought a Maria Tash piercing, I have, however, never received any sort of certificate that confirms the grade or the clarity of the stone that I've just bought. I cannot tell you what clarity and grade Maria Tash diamonds are. I just don't know. So from that perspective, I'm very sure you're paying for quality, but I'm also very sure you're paying for the experience, that luxury experience and the brand name. And the fact that these boutiques tend to be in expensive places like Harrods, Liberty of London, etc. So you've got to pay for all of that, their rent and everything. So, you know, all of that's got to come out of that price. On this year, however, this year is entirely by a brand called Ideal. And Ideal pieces are 14 karat gold solid, so you can wear them in the shower, you can sleep in them. I don't take these out. I haven't taken these out in like years, you know. Um, you can just leave them in. The other thing I like is they've got a really good selection on the website. And in fact, if you look at this one that I've got here, can you see I've got a cuff there on my ear? That's not a piercing. That cuff clips on and you can slide it up and down. If you don't have, because I've got it on that piercing that I've got there, but if you don't have that done, that chain will stretch to your lobe. So if you've just got a regular lobe piercing, you can still wear this ear cuff. They also do an ear cuff that is single on its own, not on a chain. So if you literally just want a cuff that you can clip on, makes it look like you've got a piercing, but for work, for school, whatever, you can take it off, then go and check that out. I find their stuff's really good. You're paying for 14 karat solid gold, as I've mentioned. You're also paying for lab grown diamonds. And because they are lab grown, this is a reason why they are cheaper than Maria Tash. But the other great thing about lab grown is you don't have any of the ethical issues, the environmental issues, but also with Idol, when you buy them, you get a certificate that confer confirms the clarity and the grade. So even with lab grown, you still get that, you know, there is still, information around the clarity and grade and because they are lab grown and they're such good quality they sparkle they sparkle something crazy they sparkle really really nicely so check out that brand if you're interested the other brand that's really good is called gingerbre now gingerbre don't do piercings like idol or maria tash in other words their piercings are more traditional so their piercings their earrings are more the kind of thing you would just wear in your lobe as opposed to like studs that you would wear up your ear but they have got a particular pair well they've got a couple of pairs of pairs of ear earrings that i really like both of them make it look like you've got sort of like multiple piercings so the first are these and these are they're two in one so you can either wear them with the pearl dangling or you can take the pearl off the little hoop and you can just wear the hoop on its own the other pair are these which are, they have like a dangly bit that hangs down on them, like a string of pearls. But if you don't want that, you can take that off and just wear the pearl studs on their own. So again, they're two in one as well. And with both of those brands, I really, really rate them. I really rate Maria Tash as well. I rate all three brands. Although if you, as I say, if you want that Maria Tash look for less, to me, Ideal is the go-to place. To be transparent, I've worked with Ideal before. Ideal are not sponsoring this video. Gingerbree are not sponsoring this video. Maria Tash, no one is sponsoring this video. I'm doing it because I'm very passionate about ear piercings and um, thought this would be interesting. But I do happen to have some coupon codes, not for Maria Tash though, but I've got some coupon codes that I'll put in the description below and they are not commission paying. So I don't profit from any of you using them. Now, how can you get these piercings to heal super quick? 
When you go to Maria Tash, possibly other piercers, but Maria Tash, I can speak from experience, they will try and sell you the saline spray, the saline solution. And it's like a little spray can and you jet it on. Honestly, everyone, I tried it when I got my Helix piercing. It did nothing. And they say to you, oh, dip, like put a chamomile tea bag on your piercing or dip it in warm water with salt in it. No one's got time for any of that. Let's be honest. You might do it a couple of times, but these piercings can take 18 months. No one is gonna do that for 18 months. This, however, is your savior. This is an antiseptic wound spray for um, minor skin irritations and wounds. And what you do, I get this from the pharmacy, but you can also get it on Amazon. And you literally just spray the back and the front of your piercings. Do it, I normally do it twice a day. This has got them healed in half the time. It doesn't dry out the skin. It doesn't cause any irritation at all. It keeps the piercing clean. I just find it to be way more efficient than that saline spray or than a chamomile tea bag, to be honest. So give this a try. If you have got a piercing and it's bothering you and it's not healing, please try this and let me know how you get on because for me, it's worked. Of course, you don't have to go to Maria Tash. There are independent piercers across your country um, that you can go to and pay, no doubt, a fraction of the price for the same thing, a hole through your ear. So go and try any one that you like. Um, obviously, Google them to make sure they're good <laughs> before you go. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.